Hello there, this is DBT and these are the rooms. And alright, today we're testing the Peugeot 9X8. And I said Peugeot, I don't like when people say Peugeot, I say Peugeot. And oh man, what a beautiful car this is. Uh, it's a very much racing car, very Le Mans type of looking car. The only problem is that it doesn't really have a big wing, which is the only thing that is missing. If it had one, it would be one of my favorite cars because it looks really really dope but alas we're gonna use it now i have an mp2 for the bracket of 1500 well its maximum rank is 1590 now i have tested it a little bit in multiplayer so i have an idea of how it performs but maybe i got too lucky and i was getting some decent results so i'm gonna try today and see what we can do with it so let me activate my boosters and jump into some races so like i said i played already with this car a little bit i mp2 that a very very long time ago but i never really got around to test it i was always like ah someday someday well, today is finally the day. Now, I played a little bit with it and I was getting some pretty good results, but I also realized that I was being matched against some other cars that maybe are not necessarily meta around this rank. So I decided to give it another shot and this time record it and see what we get. Remember that I do sequential races, so there's no cherry picking over here. Whatever happens, happen. If I win, if I win. I mean, if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. And if things go wrong, it's all on the record. So, yes. Now, but this thing vrooms really good. Listen to that. Oh yeah, this vrooms very, very nicely. And in fact, this was a festival car. And I think it was a premium only. I think I got it through a master key. I don't quite remember, honestly. At this point, it's kind of confusing which cars I got through master key, which one were free at the time, and which one are, you know, just premium. But, um, yeah, probably I got it through a master key or something, because I never wanted to upgrade this thing. I was never too interested in doing so. But eventually I decided, you know what? It's a cool looking car. Let's try it. So first race. Oh my God, everybody wasn't boosted. What am I to make out of this? Jesus Christ, this tells me nothing. Nothing. All right, that was the 92nd. We're into, no, 93rd. Now we're going to the 94th. Okay, here we go. Now there's a couple more people racing in this one. I hope some people are triple boosted. Because boosted, I don't want to see how this car performs against its natural competition in this bracket. It's normally the case where an MP2 car will be slower overall than a car at that same rank, but when it's at Pro. So, oh, get out of the way, buddy. So, normally, in a way, the MP2 cars can be a little bit of underdogs, but depending on how you tune the car, you may have done an acceleration tune, very balanced between very good acceleration and some decent top speed and whatnot. So, some results can be obtained even with MP2 cars, but obviously, I'm talking about when it's racing against cars that are at pro at the same rank and that are triple boosted. Now, in the previous race, I got nobody that was triple boosted, so this told me absolutely nothing, because, you know, I am triple boosted. So, the results are, oh, Jesus Christ, obviously, we're going to be skewed towards uh, my victory. And I am feeling that maybe this race is something similar, because again, look, like I said, this car, from what I've tested it, it has been giving me good performance, but overall, it might just be the situation where I'm just getting too lucky and getting people that aren't triple boosted. Maybe people don't even like going triple boosted at this bracket. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But at the end of the day, this is the only way I can test this car. Will I take it to Pro eventually? I don't know, honestly. Some cars where they perform relatively okay in... Oh, I missed that term, but I'm okay. Um, some cars that do perform relatively okay when they're mp tuned, I really feel like just keeping them in their in their tune rather than throwing them because you know it's it, it saves you a lot of resources to mp tune a car compared to throwing it. Like this thing probably I only have it like 60% upgraded to have this mp tune. Maybe let's say 70%, but we're still talking that it's a lot of fusion coins and parts and kits that I don't have to use. So that is why I also find them, when, when I find a decent tune for a car, I'd rather keep it because, you know, it's it's um, two birds with one stone situation. All right, so there was a Torque, triple boosted, but it's actually a lower rank because it hasn't been rebalanced. And I'm not sure that this is even the pro rank for the Torque, but hey, I bet it convincingly there's a 911 GT3 RS that is not exactly MP tuned. So, okay, again, not learning a whole lot of, a whole lot from this race, but we can hope. And to be completely honest, uh, this is something that I normally skip all the loading of the lobbies, but it's taking a while. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a Ferrari 599 XX fully upgraded. Is this the... Oh, the same Porsche and this is the Torque, isn't it? Yes. So basically, I'm going to be racing against the same people. Oh, boy. 
I really don't think I'm gonna learn a whole lot from this, but... You know what? Actually, that, that car looks very nice in this track. It's a futuristic track with a very futuristic car, so that looks kind of dope. I wish that when you're over here in this screen, you could hide this or minimize it so that this would go to the side and it would maybe show in small icons the slots that are being filled. So you could see the cinematic of the car driving around the track as you're waiting a bit more clear, you know? I think that would be a nice little addition, um, but I mean, if anything, that would be so low priority that it's not even funny. All right, we're in London. Again, it's a, a, against the same individuals that I just raced against. So chances are results are going to be very similar unless, unless I mess it up very, very bad. But let's hope I can do something decent. And I think, honestly, I think that I decided to upgrade this car uh, to anything when I heard it vroom. Because I really like this vroom noise. It sounds so good. You know, there are some roomy noises in this game that I don't love. Um, like that McLaren... Wah, 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 wah. I, I don't like that sound very much. This one, however, is one of those very gurgly uh, roomy noises. I love it. it. Sounds aggressive. It sounds powerful. Now, one thing that it's kind of funny, I think that this car in real life is not doing very well. Like, yeah, it's a very cool design. And by the way, yeah, it doesn't have a, a, a wing, even though it's a racing car. Because supposedly all of the downforces, it's coming from a lot of bodywork, special bodywork on the bottom of the car, you know, like in the in the lower side. I don't know, something about the diffuser and whatnot, but without the, the wing, I don't know, is that why it's failing? Maybe. I mean, I would, I would say that's probably why. All right, so there's a Torque and the Porsche, triple boosted. Again, they're lower rank, so again, doesn't tell me a whole lot. Oh, I'm doing some of these things, cool. Doesn't necessarily tell me a lot, a whole lot, but at least we're enjoying to look at this car. So, yes. All right, this time I didn't see who is racing, but given the rank, this is lower rank. This seems to be the Porsche, so, hmm. Okay. Now, I briefly mentioned this on the previous video that I published, which should have been the Gauntlet video. It's kind of difficult for me to figure out what was the last one, because some of these videos are being recorded at odd times and whatnot. Um, but anyway, in the, in the Dark Gauntlet, and before this video comes out, before the dark camp, but... <laughs> no, wait, no, it's impossible. Anyway, um, in that video I was talking about how I kind of have fixed the issue of the physics in the game. And I fixed it by just using a completely different emulator. Um, now I'm using Nox Player, that's the name of the emulator. And I'm not in love with this emulator because it does have some quirks that I don't... I'm not a big fan of, like the, some keys that you cannot rebind and things like that. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Come on. Oh man. Mr. Guzman 2023. Take it easy, buddy. It's actually gonna beat me. Anyway. Um, and one of the things that is the most obvious for you. <clears throat> on my side, yeah, there's a bunch of things that are difficult, but that doesn't affect your view and experience. But the one thing that you might notice eventually, maybe, because it happens sometimes, but it's kind of random, is that some of the text will be... Oh, you... Some of the text might... Oh, get wrecked, buddy! I didn't know... Well, I mean, technically I did, but I did, wasn't even trying. He just was touching me inappropriately from behind, so... He exploded, just like humans do. Anyway, uh, some of these texts like this one that says finish or the countdowns and things like that, sometimes it looks, instead of chrome or metallic, it looks rainbowy. It's very strange. It looks kind of psychedelic. Sometimes the water, too. But overall, it's bearable, I think. All right, so, yep, there's a Torque, there's a GT3 RS and a BMW that disconnected. So, still, not learning anything. It's fine. It's fine. Now, this will be the test of fire because it's Tokyo Reverse. Very, very long track. And I saw somebody with a high rank, 98, I think. So, this might be a bit more challenging. <clears throat> and maybe now I'll learn a bit more about this car and the MP2 that is at. But... Yeah, like I said, I, I tried it the other day, and honestly, I was getting very, very similar results for the very similar reasons that I was encountering people that were running simply with under-ranked cars or not boosted, or let's say under-boosted. So, yeah, I don't know. If you ever want to try this, this uh, tune... Oh, Jesus Christ, I should have gone for it. If you ever want to try this tune, do it at your own risk. I have no idea if it really is good or not. I'm just getting lucky over here with my matchups. But, you know, 
It is what it is. But yeah, like I said, it was so much cheaper to bring it to this tune than to pro it. That's just kind of how this game works. I mean, you still have to invest quite a bit, obviously. But it's still so much less than if you pro the car. And again, if you do a decent tune, you're saving a lot of resources and getting a... Oh, no, I la I'm lagging. I'm lagging. What's happening? No! Oh, that was BS, man. I lagged so hard. What just happened? Um, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, Guzman is again. Well, actually, I'm catching up to Guzman 2023, so... Let's make sure I have Nitro. Because that is what's gonna matter in the very last um, part of this track. Hold up, hold up. Trying to focus here. Okay, he's gonna go for the big battle. Makes sense. I'm gonna take the jump to save some Nitro in this section. I lost a little bit of speed on that jump. But it saves me a bunch of Nitro. So in the end, that's a positive to me. So right away, I'm going into some destruction mode over here to save as much Nitro. I am banking on him running out of Nitro before I do. Because he doesn't seem to be going for any of the destructibles. So... Nah, uh, but he's still far ahead. He would need to lose Nitro right about now for me to... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, baby! What did I say? Nitro management! It's all that matters in this game. Oh, yeah! Alright, so Mr. Guzman made me sweat a little bit over there. But in the end, we got it. Oh, so the 98 was the 4GT, but it's not unboosted. I mean, it's completely unboosted, so... God darn it! Well, at least we know that this Peugeot can beat the, the, the ED design at this rank. That's, that's what we're learning, so that's something. And they're still gaining points, so that's kind of cool. And that actually reminds me of a screenshot that I want to show you, but that'll be a bit later in this video. Oh, my boosters! I mean, since I already made a, a pause over here, might as well show you. This is what I wanted to show you. I um, The previous time that I was testing it, I decided to just give people some points. Because I had beaten these guys a bunch of times. So they were losing points or not gaining a lot. So I decided to just go into the last place. You can see that I literally took twice as long because I was memeing around. Not, not briefing them, just memeing around. Um, so they were able to do the entire lap and then I did my own lap and I was able to finish it. But anyway... So, yeah, I decided to give them, gift them some points. Well, what surprised me? I mean, good for him, 52 points, 27, 25, but this person only got one point. That seems kind of disappointing. He technically beat an elite player, so that's kind of BS, I think. Now, before I activate my boosters, I wanted to show you all of the color, op of, ah, all of the color options for this car. Look at this. So many color options. It's beautiful. Obviously, I'm kidding. There's no color options, and I hate it. I mean, it looks nice with the silvery grayish, more like color it's not fully black so i kind of like it but i wish you could change the color now this car was added in asphalt 9 um and i believe that you can probably change the color of the car there too but i don't own it and i haven't seen anybody doing it so i really don't know so if you know let me know but yeah let me you know what let me show you already the tune because why not the tune for this car is at 9 2 10 7 so what I did over here is always prioritizing drivetrain for the sake of getting the accelerate, uh, excuse me, the top speed. So you can see that the top speed is pretty high. And then I did a little bit of tires also for more top speed. Well, I said a little bit. I did a lot. Almost pro it. And then I decided to spend the rest of the points in some exhaust to get some additional acceleration and some extra um, nitro from these two. So that is the tune in case you're curious. But let me do my boosters and join a couple more races because we got to do more races. Jesus, finish your sentences, BT. All right. I don't know if it's the exact same people. It seems that it's the exact same people. Honestly, I'm not paying too much attention to the names. Oh, wait a second. Oh, hello. There's a, a, a Lamborghini uh, Asterion, which is a very, very, very strong car for this rank. All right. There we go. Finally, we get some, the, the you know, the, the, the real competition car. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, oh, did you notice that water issue at the left side? It looked a little weird. It had some stripes or something. Again, might be just a rendering issue of the emulator, but rendering issues, it's... No, 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 I messed it up. Oh, no. That's why I don't like doing, trying to do that breath so close to the turn, because I hit, barely hit the ramp, and that makes me 360, and it's on the wrong direction. It's bad. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not run, gonna rage quit. It's fine. I take the L. I've won a bunch of times, so I can take an L and just cry a little bit. 
It's alright. Man, what a mess up. I really... Well, hopefully we're gonna be in the same lobby as that Asterion. Because I do want to test out this car with the without the mess ups, I mean. Um, and see if it really is competitive or not. It was doing alright until I messed it up, so... Oh, and it just scattered me. What? Okay, sure. Alright, alright. Finally an L. It's alright. I can, I, can, I can live with the L. It'll only take my sleep away for a few days, that's all. Oh, so the Camaro SS and the Asterion were... Alright, I like it. I like it. Alright, we gotta try another one, because I really want to see what's happening with this car. I just realized that I have... 98 races with the 9x8. <laughs> well, I'm just waiting here, but the lobby doesn't want to fill up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, because this is the, the, the two cars, the two upgraded cars, the, the Camaro and the Asterion. But... Okay, now we have another Asterion and... Oh, speaking of kings! Oh, boy. This is the test of fire. Let's do this. Yeah, okay, this is... Okay, now we're talking. This is a straight up the, the top of the competition in this bracket. With the Asterion, with the Mitsubishi. So this is gonna be tough. And this will inform me a bit better of how good or bad this car performs. So let's do this. So I hope you enjoyed all my W's earlier on, because from here onwards it's just gonna be L. Oh, Jesus Christ, what just happened? Somebody blocked that <laughs> Mitsubishi. It's fine, it's fine. Come on, respond. Nice. Yep, just in time. I might be last, but I have some nitro going. Oh, hold on. Somebody push that dude. You know what? Dude. Oh, you mother... I was going to that side because I thought he, was, he wasn't going to go for it. And then he went for it. And then ripped me. God damn it. Oh, it's the same dude that knocked me down, isn't it? It is not. Never mind. I was gonna laugh at you, but it's all good. Can I at least get fourth place? I could if I didn't mess up the drift. Jesus Christ, if you think what's wrong with you. See, that is the problem. Winning a bunch of easy races just throws me off my, my game, you know? And now I don't even know how to drift effectively. That is why you want, always want to punch upwards as opposed to punching down. Because if you're punching upward, you're pushing yourself to do better. If you're punching down, you get lazy. And that is actually why, I mean, this might sound like me just trying to justify my lack of kings or anything, but that's why I always say that driving with just a straight up kings in the game is not necessarily good, you know? All right, last place again. Due to an unfortunate circumstance, but I'm confident that I'm going to encounter this same lobby again, so let's go for it. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, my lack of um, of kings, I'm okay with it. Because using the fastest, most effective cars all the time was a point. Let's instead use something that is a bit more challenging. Even if I'm not super skilled or anything, like I am not. But you know, just doing it for the fun of it and see what we can do. And that is why MP tunes are also very fun. They're officially under underdogs for the most part. So it's all a matter of um, trying to see if you can make good use of them. All right, there's an under-ranked car right here, and there's, I mean, a proper ranked and an under car on this side, under-ranked car. So, I don't think I saw the Mitsubishi in this race, so, well, but I think there was an Asterion. Yeah, there's the green Asterion. There's a, wow, really? And it's a GT, oh, two Asterions. Okay, cool. All right, acceleration, they absolutely out-accelerated me, even though that guy used perfect nitro and I used triple tap, so there we go. Acceleration, I do be a little challenged. Oh, good. Well, at least I didn't wreck. Now, I'm starting to suffer a little bit of nitro, so I'm going to have to try to do the barrel roll here. Nice. I would go for some flat spins here, but I'm not super comfortable with it. So instead, let's hope that this is good enough nitro to last me all the way to the end. We got a perfect run. Nice. Do the jump here. Was a bit too high, but at least allows me to skip all of the other subsequent ramps. Because sometimes I land from that first ramp and I land in another one and I just do a half spin. I mean, a half barrel roll and I get wrecked. But there you have it. Beautiful. We got a first place. Honestly, 
I'm gonna tell you right away, this is not an amazing car as is, but it is competitive as you have seen. I was able to put a bit of a fight against the Asterions and except for those parts where I crashed um, in the previous two races, overall I think it's competitive enough. So if you're interested in upgrading this car, there you have the recipe and maybe I'll catch you from time to time racing this beauty. Because why not? It only needs a win, but that's all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.